Welcome to the channel, I'll try to make this quick. We have so much content, so much content already posted, so much content on the way. Race reviews, race previews, personnel files, the project golf, a lot to offer. If you're here for the first time, then subscribe. If you're not here for the first time, then well done. Thank you for subscribing. Have a look at our Patreon. Donations are the way forward. Let's start with the video. Hello everyone and welcome back to LTF1. If you're a functioning motorsport fan, you will have seen the big news this morning that Guan Yu Zhou has got a seat at Alfa Romeo for next season. And uh, for some people, it's gone down like a bag of a, a cold cup of wet sick. And for others, I've taken it a bit better. Uh, there's been a lot of hate towards him, which I think has been undeserved. But into the video, who is Guan Yu Zhou and how has he got a seat at Alfa Romeo for 2022? Well, let's start off at the very start. And that would be on the 30th of May 1999 in Shanghai, China. Something that you might not have known, I admittedly didn't, is that Zhou actually moved to the north of England aged just 12, four years after he started karting aged 8, to start racing for a team called Strawberry Racing, a karting team based in Sheffield. This proved to be a success for Zhou, as he went on to win both the Super 1 National Rotax Max mouthful that is, Junior Championship and the Euro Roto Max Challenge uh, the following seasons in 2013. Kissing goodbye to his karting days with a second place finish in the Rotax Max Senior Euro Challenge, Zhou joined Prima Power Team to compete in the 2015 Italian Formula 4 Championships. More success was to follow with the 16 year old ending the season in second in the driver standings and being named the best rookie. However, for the time being, the good times would hit a standstill. Joining Moto Park for the 2016 Formula 3 Championship, Zhou started the season strongly, picking up two podiums. However, this would be the only light in a season where the young driver would end the season 13th in the driver standings. The next season, things would marginally improve, with some glimpses of Guan Yu Zhou really showing what he could do, amassing two wins and six podium finishes, however three retirements in four races and some disappointing performances later, Zhou could only muster up an eighth place finish come the end of the season. 2019 saw Zhou make the step up from Formula 3 to Formula 2 for the first of his three seasons in the series. I think this season will be looked back upon as a mixed season, as despite some good performances the 20 year old driver finished seventh. He followed this up with a 6th place finish in 2020. So far this season in 2021, it seems to be third time lucky for Zhou. As it stands, on his third bite of the cherry, the young driver finds himself in second, behind Oscar Piastri who has just been announced as Alpine's reserve driver for 2022. So yes, it's not been a straightforward junior career for Guan Yu Zhou, and popular opinion is that Oscar Piastri deserved the seat more, based on merit, and it's hard to argue that. but. That may be a whole different video in itself. As for Joe, this season in F2 may have just been the boost that he needed before taking a step up to F1, replacing Giovinazzi at Alpha. He's shown glimpses, more so this season, of his potential and is still pretty young. Lastly for this video, I think he joins F1 at a really good time, as next season as we all know the new regulations kick in, which will send most, if not all of the drivers back or near enough to square one. So with this, Joe could potentially excel. Who knows? We wish him all the best, especially becoming the first driver to represent China in F1. As we're sorry to say goodbye to Joe Venazzi, but again, we wish him all the best in Formula E. So, thank you guys for watching. We hope to see you next time. You can follow us on Twitter, LTF1 Official, Instagram, LTF1 Official. We have a shop now on Redbubble. Be sure to check out our stuff. We have some really cool stuff coming and we have some cool stuff up anyway. So yeah, thank you for watching. We'll see you all next time. Goodbye.